In this video, I'm going to show you how you can optimize the SEO for your focus keyword so you can rank higher in Google and other search engines. All-in-one SEO is a game changer when it comes to digital marketing. I use this plugin for all my WordPress implementations. And it practically does every step for you. I think Your Product is one of my favorite plugins that I use on every single client site that I build. It opened my eyes to what's possible in terms of SEO. It gives practical suggestions. These suggestions suggestions have really significantly boosted our website search engine rankings. Welcome to All-in-One SEO. We help you rank higher in Google and other search engines with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Click this link right here to start downloading and using All-in-One SEO right now. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is install the All-in-One SEO plugin. If you already have AIO SEO installed, you can skip ahead to the next part of the video using the timestamps below. So let's go ahead and click on plugins and then click on the button that says add new. If you haven't done so already, we're going to want to download the plugin from AIOSEO.com. You're going to go to the account section into your download area and click the big green button that says download AIO SEO. And if you don't have an account already, you should be able to create one pretty easily. So back on the plugins page of your WordPress website. We're going to go ahead and click the Upload Plugin button and then click Choose File and choose the plugin file that you just downloaded. And then click the Install Now button. After the plugin installs, click the blue button that says Activate Plugin. After the plugin installs and is activated, the AIO SEO Setup Wizard will pop up automatically. We have another video that walks you through these steps, and I highly encourage you to go through that wizard because it will just set up your whole website for success as far as your SEO efforts go. But for now, we're going to head back to the dashboard. And then if you scroll on down the page and click the link, there's a space for us to enter our all-in-one SEO Pro license key. Back on our AIO SEO account, which you can find at aioseo.com slash account, Make sure you're on the Downloads tab, and then next to where it says License Key, if you click on the icon, it will copy out our All-in-One SEO Pro License Key. And then we're going to paste the License Key into the License Key field, click Connect, and that's it. All-in-One SEO Pro is activated on this website. If you want to be doubly sure, you can go ahead and click the blue Save Changes button. And then we're going to scroll up and click on the Dashboard link, just so we're all on the same page. Now that we have AIO SEO installed, I'm going to show you how to optimize for a focus keyword. We're going to walk through step by step. And as a bonus, we're going to start with ChatGPT to come up with our original blog post. Here we are in ChatGPT. I've got a prompt written already. Please write me a 700 to 1000 word article on the top ways to lose weight. I always start with please so that when our AI overlords take over, I might be spared. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work. Time will tell. Use your knowledge of diet and nutrition in the most popular and effective ways currently known to lose weight. Please write at a fifth grade reading level. All right. Let's get it done. So while ChatGPT is cranking out my article, I would be remiss if I didn't point out that you should not just copy and paste this and throw it up as a WordPress article, WordPress blog post. You should use ChatGPT to help you as a starting point and then go through and edit it manually to suit your needs. But for this video, I just want something to start with so I can show you how to optimize for a focus keyword or key phrase with All-in-One SEO. So let's grab this by clicking the copy icon. Go back into WordPress. I'm going to go to the post menu on the left and I am going to say add post. And then let's paste in exactly what it gave me. That was ridiculously easy. We're scoring a 79 out of 100 with All-in-One SEO. So our article is entitled Top Ways to Lose Weight and Keep It Off. So what are we going to use for a focus keyword? Eat more real food, drink more water, move your body, get good sleep, eat less sugar, watch your portions, stay positive and don't give up. Seven ways. I like that. I like that there's seven. It feels like a real number. 10 feels like a little forced. Seven ways to lose weight. So I'm going to just copy ways to lose weight here. And then the very first step we're going to take is to click on this all-in-one SEO 
icon slash button here. I'm going to click on general, and then we're going to click on focus keyword. And this is like the most important step when you have a new piece of content, deciding on and setting that focus keyword. So I'm going to type in seven, and then I already copied ways to lose weight, paste that in, and I'm going to click add focus keyword. You can see immediately our score dropped to 61. That's because I'm guessing the word seven does not appear here very often. But let's go through this step by step. I want to show you how all-in-one SEO works. So this is one of the most powerful features of all-in-one SEO. We have an internal link building tool. We have an insane schema generator. But this on-page SEO checklist is just amazing. It keeps you so focused on your task. Our task right now is to optimize the on-page SEO of this piece of content for seven ways to lose weight. So let's start with number one, your focus keyword in SEO title. It is not found in the SEO title. So that's an easy enough fix. Our title is top ways to lose weight. Let's change that to seven ways to lose weight and keep it off. We'll leave the and keep it off. And that's a big one. So it bumped us right back up from 61 to 77. I think we started at 79 before we did anything. So we're, we're closing in on where we were. Focus keyword in meta description. So I'm not 100% sure how I'm creating my meta description. So let's scroll down past the content, the all-in-one SEO settings section here. We can see a SERP preview of how our content is going to look. It's saying I'm creating my title with the post title that we just updated a separator, a smiley face, and the current year. And as you can see, how that shows up is seven ways to lose weight and keep it off. Separator bar here, smiley face 2025. I like that. For the meta description, it's using a post excerpt separator and category title. I don't really think we need separator and category title, so I'm going to get rid of that. And then it's showing almost 4,600 characters out of a recommended max of 160. I'm almost positive that's because there is no post excerpt set. So I could go write a post excerpt or I could just wipe this out entirely and write my meta description here. So why don't we make this easy on ourselves and we'll start with the very first paragraph here. And then I'll adapt it to include our focus keyword. So first of all, that's way too long to start with. So I'll just chop off bottom half here. I'm right at 158 out of 160. So why don't we just change that second sentence to, to here are the top seven ways to lose weight. And you see almost immediately this updated on the right. Now we're getting a green check mark for focus keyword and meta description. And we bumped up to an 80. The next one says focus keyword length. Your focus keyword is slightly long. Try to make it shorter. I really like this focus keyword. I don't want to make it shorter. You can. All of these items here are suggestions. This one I'm going to ignore because I really like my focus keyword, seven ways to lose weight. I don't want to change my focus keyword length. Focus keyword is in the URL. Fantastic. That's because WordPress automatically took the title of our article here and turned it into the URL. Focus keyword in introduction, and it's not in the first paragraph, so let's see if we can address that. So here we are back at our intro paragraph. Losing weight can feel hard, but it doesn't have to be. I'm just going to add what I added to the description between these two sentences. And once again, we change from a red X to a green check mark. Focus keyword is in our introduction. We're getting a red X for focus keyword in subheadings. I'm not using my focus keyword in any of the subheadings. So let's see if we can go through and find a natural place to include seven ways to lose weight in our subheadings without making it feel forced. Eat more real food. That's uh, going to be tricky. Drink more water. We could change this to drinking more water is one of the seven ways to lose weight. Obviously, I got to go back and fix the capitalization there. Move your body every day, get good sleep, eat less sugar, watch your portions, stay positive, and don't give up. Eat less sugar is number five of seven ways to lose weight. That's good. We bumped up to 85. This one's kind of tricky to put into the subheadings. I don't want to overdo it. I think we're good with those two. 
I'm going to leave that as is. We've still bumped up our score. We're still doing good. Everything we're doing here with All-in-One SEO, you have to keep in mind as an overarching principle that we are writing our content for people, for human beings first, for search engines second. So my comfort level with putting seven ways to lose weight in these subheadings, I'm comfortable putting it in two of them. Focus keyword density, it's telling us our focus keyword density is also low. This is a pretty easy one. We just have to add seven ways to lose weight into some of the content of our page. This video is going to get really long if you guys watch me do this in real time. So I'm going to speed up this part of the video. And that's it. Focus keyword density was the last item. We are done optimizing for our focus keyword. Like I said before, this is a checklist and suggestion. You don't have to get a green check mark on every one of these. I made a conscious decision to ignore focus keyword length because I really like my focus keyword and not to jam too many focus keywords into the subheadings. If we were going to continue working on the on-page SEO of this page, next things we would tackle would be basic SEO and readability. But this applies to any page you're working on, so this is not specific to our focus keyword. But we are done with optimizing for our focus keyword. Go ahead and hit save or publish, and you're done. So that's how to optimize the SEO for your focus keyword. If you don't already have our awesome all-in-one SEO plugin installed, we've got a link to it in the description below this video. It can help you out with the task in this video as well as many other SEO jobs that you might have to do on your WordPress website. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And if you want to get the SEO of your WordPress website handled today, click the very first link in the description below this video to download All-in-One SEO right now.